This video is going to be about the bed. I know that's one of the big questions a lot of people have about the Paseo, and we've learned a lot about sleeping in this bed, and we're going to try to share that in this video, show some different ways you can use the bed. I am 5 foot 10, and I fit pretty well in this bed. If you're taller than that, you're not going to be stretched out straight. I mean, maybe a little bit taller, you know, 5'10 and a half or something maybe. But give or take 5'10, that's about the point that you fit in this bed in my opinion. So this is the sleeping orientation we tried at first. And this works pretty well because you can see the television from here and it just seemed like this was natural. You don't have the TV in the way as you get up and out of the bed and, and such. But when you get out of the bed in this orientation, it's a little more acrobatic because you have to like bring your legs up and pivot around and do this to get out of the bed. So then we tried this orientation with our heads on this side. And we thought the TV would be in the way, and obviously it is if you leave it out like this, but when it's folded back and you lay down, it's really not in the way. Plus, when you're over this way, you have really easy access to the light switches, which are right here on, on this side of the wall. So getting out of the bed on this side is definitely a little easier. You don't have to be as acrobatic with your legs and swinging them up out of the way of the refrigerator and the wall over here. So my head is kind of lightly touching, maybe a half inch away from the headboard up here. And my feet have enough room down here to do this. You can sleep totally straight. Um, if you obviously go at an angle, you have more room. So the one thing I haven't been able to do comfortably in this bed is sleep on my stomach. Because if I'm on my stomach, my feet, there really isn't enough room for my feet to be in any sort of comfortable position down here. There isn't enough room for them to kind of point out and stretch out a little bit. And let me demonstrate that real quick here. So maybe other people sleep differently on their stomach and their feet would be okay here. But for me, I just can't find a, a comfortable position if I'm laying on my stomach. One thing that works surprisingly well is to put the pillow at this end with your feet kind of sticking out towards the door. Demonstrate that here. So here this works well. You see I have plenty of room for my feet down there. And when I roll over, I can actually sort of sleep on my stomach. Now with the pillow at this end, obviously getting out of bed is a little more <laughs> acrobatic endeavor. Um, you can do it, but you're definitely doing a lot more swinging around of your legs. And So this is kind of what it looks like when somebody who's 5'10 sleeps diagonally. You can see there's a little extra room, so if you're taller and you're a single person in the RV, this could maybe work for you. This is what it looks like if you use this bench as a bed. As you can see, one of the problems is my arm at least kind of hangs off here. There's, there's no bed next to it to support it, so I have to keep my arm on my body. I guess somebody who's maybe narrower or sleeps differently, that would be okay, but I find that kind of uncomfortable. And here's the answer to the question, how does this bench work as a bed? If you leave the table in place, this might be a little hard to see. This is kind of cramped quarters to do the camera work, but let's see how it works. Yeah. 
that wasn't too bad. I'm getting up, I'm just kind of do this sort of, kicking the table, don't have it locked in place. And I think that would work. Again, it's still pretty narrow, but if you can live with it being narrow, this actually seems like it would work better than I thought it would. So here's an illustration of us trying to make this work a little better as a single bench bed with the table in place, but still have a little support for like an arm as you lay here. As you can see, getting in is a little bit awkward. Come over this, around here. I'm gonna take this, put this here. Yeah, a little support for the arm. Again, getting out of this is a lot of gyrations, but maybe somebody would find this worthwhile trying. Thanks for watching this video about the things we've learned so far about the bed in the Paseo. Until next time, we'll keep muddling through.